Good morning. Good morning. Well, here we are still in Telegraph Creek and we spent a uh, better part of the afternoon yesterday dialing everything in for our canoe trip and trying to fit everything into the canoe before we uh, hauled everything down the hill to the put-in. And it looks like it's gonna fit. We have, you know, a, a lot of stuff because we're traveling with four people and a dog and all the gear we need to be safe out there. Um, now the good news is that uh, there's no portages on this trip. So this is like the only portage is portaging from the truck down to the put-in. We're paddling the Stikine. We're paddling the Stikine. Yeah. Woo. around this corner we actually have a proper rapid. We have to like scout it. I mean we might, yeah. Some bigger stuff over there. A clear passage right through there. Alright, just keep your eye on the far right. See that? Yeah, piece of cake, right? fish can here. Look at this. Look at 
Straight ahead. See that rock? Oh, wow. We're at the campsite. We're at the Yay! campsite. Yeah. Was that a fun paddle? Did you good today, Wesley? Did you like all the scenery? Yeah? Did you like the scenery today? I think you did. Yay! No more life jacket. No more life jacket. You can play with no the dirt more. again, aren't ya? No more life jacket. Take that one. No, 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 honey, don't take that one. Mama's going to Very good. Dad, that Dad, play? Dad, that play? Okay, that I will play. He loves it. Yeah, more. Fast. Are you drinking a rock tea? Yeah. Yummy rock tea. 
excited to see this dolly. Mm, could use some more rocks. Oh, everything is everywhere. Oh. What'd you do? Uh oh. And North. Why well, you have a dog right there? There's like the rocks and everything. Very good, honey. I'm just using some fish, Chris, here because, uh, we forgot the Old Bay. We left it in the spice rack. I love Old Bay with fish and we didn't bring any fish seasoning. So we're gonna have to uh, do it the old fashioned way. Huh? 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 Fish? Hey. Plenty of time for that, honey. Hey. <laughs> Dad. I don't care enough. No, okay. Come sit on Mama's lap. It's completely changed. Hey? Quit weird, eh? Go in the other direction completely. Okay, super windy all of a sudden. now raining and the uh, uh, wind has pretty much stopped we just guide the crap out of the whole tent Huddy was super scared but Tori went in the tent and calmed him down and he fell asleep I and mean, all is well so um, the tent we have is meant for like Mount Everest okay so night time of day one and uh it threw a lot of different things at us from a beautiful morning to taking time to get on the river to starting out feeling uncomfortable packed in gear not in the right place scared that we were too heavily loaded to all of a sudden gaining our confidence running a bunch of rapids and nailing some technical maneuvers to hitting a nice, beautiful stretch of river, taking in the scenery, and just getting to camp. 
catching a beauty fish right off the bat and being like, oh man, this is perfect. What a nice evening to all of a sudden. <laughs> gale force freaking winds. Anyways, it is late. I'm tired. Crazy chain of events today. Not to mention the big horn, the great horn owl. I guess they have a nest around here that was just hanging out right over there calling at us. So that was nuts. But uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what tomorrow has in store. Okay, serious issue this morning. I just woke up and climbed out of the tent and our canoe is gone. Crazy, nowhere to be found. With the craziness of trying to get our tent together and just, you know, Huddy being scared and, and trying to calm him down, we just never even thought about the canoe. It must have blown from like here into the creek and then down the creek you know we're not gonna die we have tons of food and everything like that and we we have an in reach too so we can get someone to pick us up in the boat but crazy chain of events here hi, Daddy. hi. well I'm just heading out to find this canoe. Can't say anything like this has ever happened to me before. Uh, you know, I'm good at hauling my canoes up on shore, but I, and I always go the extra mile, uh, even. Hudson, I see you found the trail mix. I'm really just surprised that that even happened. I mean, I guess not thinking back to it, yeah, the gusts were really, really strong. It's um, about an 80 pound canoe, but it probably just acted like a sail and the wind just took it. It's a good thing that it happened last night because we're still fairly close to the town, so it wouldn't be a super long hike to get back uh, for help. Uh, the other option, of course, is for a jet boat to come up and pick us up, which seems excessive. Oh, honey. Hudson. Oh man, I was hoping it would just be down here, but I don't see anything. So this river is really strong and uh, could be miles and miles away. Um, the good news is that uh, we are still relatively close to the end of the Telegraph Creek Road, which actually ends at Glenora. So we can get someone in a, a, a boat to come and pick us up. So it's not the end of the world. Good news, the boat just drove by, saw Jim. Jim must have flagged him down. They're probably gonna go look for the canoe in the boat. Well, I don't know if you could see that, but a jet boat just went by and I waved him down. Um, guy's name's Miles, he's from Glenora. And he's gonna look for the boat for us. So he just said like, He's actually on his way down because his parents have a camp down river and all these trees blew down on their cabin. So the storm last night hit everybody pretty hard. If we can't uh, find anything, he's gonna give us a ride back to uh, uh, Telegraph Creek. So fingers are freaking crossed, man. Yeah! You did it! Holy dude, you just saved the day. Well, that was Miles. And uh, he really came by at a good time. He told me that was a once in 50 years freak windstorm and it just caused disaster all over the place. So, uh, good to know that we're not gonna be dealing with that again. So we lost, we lost two fishing rods, pretty expensive ones too, in the reel that already broke that I just repaired. Two fishing rods, two reels, a full tackle box, and your nice paddle. 
are gone. But honestly, for once in 50 years, freak gusting windstorm that has just like caused havoc everywhere, I think we did pretty we good. Did. How to need a bunch of sand? Looks like it. How do you spit it out? Spit it out. No eat sand. Yum, yucky, yucky sand. are trying to miss. I didn't even realize there'd be this much room here. Oh, there's some current there, yeah. So let's pick a line right, right here. All right, just paddle hard. In the boat, North. Come on. In the boat, bud. Oh, back, back of the boat. boat. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> trying to not stand down there. Which is very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Your butt is in the <laughs> Is that okay? Is that what you wanted? slick Penelope with me one of my subscribers reminded me that I once called my shotgun slick Penelope and I'd forgotten so I thought that was funny anyways uh, yeah so uh, brought this with me because we're in grizzly bear country 
and at this time of year there's salmon so there, there's gonna be more bears around but uh, yeah I don't I don't just leave it with the safety off uh, I act, well I actually leave it with the safety off but I leave um, a full magazine but nothing in the pipe so in order to actually rack around you just go like that and then boom fire you know so it means you're one shot less but it means with uh, Huddy running around, you know, there's no way he's going to be able to rack around like that. Uh, so it just makes it a lot safer at camp because you don't want the gun to become more dangerous than a grizzly bear. Huddy, don't hurt North's tail. Huddy, do you want to put some shoes on? No. Okay. Um, for dinner tonight we are going to have another leftover another leftover dehydrated meal. Turkey dinner. Huddy I think might be eating the dog food. So this is yeah. Mashed potatoes. Uh stuffing gravy and turkey yeah. oh yes the water is over there this one's not treated sweetheart and daddy has water hey yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, water just add some of the boiled water um, to this yeah. to rehydrate it it'll be delicious mm -hmm. the fishing rods devastating um, but we brought a backup reel and a bunch of line uh, no real lures though which is concerning um, and I do have a fly rod but fly fishing it's, it's harder and it's particularly tough in this river just because of the silty water and also it takes more time so we don't have a lot of time so and I don't have a fly rod that can handle salmon, and I sure as heck don't think this could either, but... Buddy. I'm basically trying to make myself a rod. So I have an extra reel, and I cut this, like, whippy branch from some bush. And um, I'm basically going to snare wire my spare reel to this, and then use snare wire for guides and then uh, essentially just make a lure. Okay, this is what I'm gonna have for the rest of the trip to uh, to catch fish with. camp early today which is great but uh, it's hard to find the time to 
finish things like making my fishing, fixing my finish, fishing rod just because uh, one of us has to be watching Hudson at all times and all that. One thing I bring is a lot of wire, or a lot of snare wire. And uh, I have my backup reel here. It's a little wonky. Pretty good. It is the night of day two, Tori and the kids are already in bed. Gonna take the food barrels into the bush now and call it a night. Good morning. Oh. Good morning, bud. Hey, buddy. I managed to finish this sucker off last night. This is my spare reel. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's Daddy, a little wonky. Daddy yes, Eddie. Hold on. It's a little wonky. The handle's a little loose. But uh, um, it's a lot better than nothing. <clears throat> I snare wired it to the rod and I just covered that uh, snare wire with a little bit of tape. And then I added uh, snare wire for guides. And then in my survival kit, I always keep a spare lure. Use snare wire there to add them. And I covered up the, uh, the twisted wire with uh, a little piece of tape so the line wouldn't get stuck on it. And we have a makeshift fishing rod. Well, I took a few casts this morning and couldn't catch anything with the new rod. Uh, this tributary comes out in three braids. Looks like the upriver braid is the one that has a, a bit of a, a backwater eddy that's holding the clear water from a tributary. So maybe I'm just not in the best spot. But uh, yeah, the rod casts smoothly, casts far. Um, not exactly the most accurate casting or responsive, but pretty darn good and a heck of a lot better than nothing. Uh, Huddy spent the time, the majority of the time while I fished, throwing rocks in the river, didn't you? So North just trotted briskly out of the woods and turning and barking back over his shoulder and then was like defensively blocking this trail going into the woods and then went over and was defensively blocking the other trail. See how he notices the two trails into the site? Yeah. Uh, and there are, there are two trails. Uh, the bear banger is uh, an explosive, like, and it screws into this pen launcher. 
and I just pull this back and shoot it, the pin hits this, it flies 50 feet and blows up really loudly. Anyways, I'm gonna fire this bear banger. Big noise, yay! Today should be fun. We're gonna try to get caught up a little bit today. We're uh, not behind schedule, which is nice. So um, got a little bit early of a wake up, a little, moved a little faster this morning, got a better sleep because um, we got to camp early today so um, it's definitely hard to manage Huddy because he's such an explorer he'll just walk off and you don't feel comfortable with him obviously by the water alone or in the woods or you know anywhere where there's cliffs and you know he's pretty mobile but uh, yeah you got to keep a constant eye on him for sure uh, Wesley's having a good day all smiles hanging out has oatmeal and he's just enjoying the view of the mountain as we speak He learns a lot of words all on his own. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. Wait. Pop, 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 pop. Grab his foot right there. Ugh. I can't. He's walking backwards. Honey, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Wait. No, no, no! Are you sure you don't want him? Uh, 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 Come on, Hud, you can do it, bud. Oh. Oh, two hands, two hands, two hands. Take that one. Okay. All the way to the boat. I'm going to get Wesley. Yay, yeah, let's see. We're going in the boat. Yay. Yay. Funny. Like the the Daddy, Daddy. Here you go, Wes. Yes, Papa. Is it, is it? No, Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Papa. I've been no much. Ha, ha, ha. Any bites? No. Thank you. Oh, I did it. I'm in the boat. So what time is it? It is 11.28. Woohoo! we did a bit of fishing. Well, we uh, we thought maybe there'd be um, some coho running up this creek and um, bear prints, wolf prints, that kind of shows that there's a good chance there are. But uh, the water's so low in the river this year, the mouth of the creek is blocked by a big sand and gravel bar. Um, and so we kind of, it's hard to judge where the actual mouth is because it's on the other side of a, a channel uh, that we'd have to like wade across a deep part of, of water to get to or drag our canoe. So we're kind of blocked without uh, putting in a lot of effort and uh, the kids are sleeping. Um, I wonder how many salmon would be up there with the water so low too, but uh, anyways, it'd just be cool to see um, there might be some Dolly Varden uh, at the mouth here, which is it's not really the mouth. This is kind of like a side channel of the Stikeen, um, but it's really, really shallow at the top of the side channel. And then the creek is feeding this side channel. At high water, 
there'd probably be none of this behind me would even be here or even at medium water hopefully we see some salmon running uh, further down river maybe when we're in alaska or something oh the sun's kind of poking through but we have a sprinkle of rain too wow it's so peaceful while huddy's asleep Let's hope the rainforest is uh, not rainy and it's it's sunny and bright yeah. and dry. <laughs> Huddy, you want a yellow? <laughs> My new nickname for Huddy is Mowgli. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, we're just stopping for some lunch. It was really miserable and rainy there for a bit, eh, Tori? Cold and windy. And we ran some sketchy currents, but hopefully it's clearing up. Um, just eating some pemmican here. Um, that really fills you up. You start to feel weak, hungry, and kind of cold. Great to scarf some pemmican. Kids are doing great, but um, they're kind of tucked down out of the wind with little um, umbrellas on them. Please leave law. Hun, you want some pemmican? Sure. So I'm, I don't think I brought the mustard. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. <laughs>
it's raining and the bugs are out. Most all family and kids, and some 25% deep for the adults. The black flies are bad. Oh my god, that looks delicious, honey. What a meal. What are you gonna eat? <laughs> Today was uh, less terrifying than the previous day because we woke up and our canoe was still there. <laughs> Beautiful sight, but the sand kind of gets in everything, so it adds like an extra element of something, yeah, annoyingness or just something to pay attention to so you don't kick sand and everything. And uh, just driving rain and we're soaked under a tarp but um really beautiful spot in order to get to wrangle we have to maintain a pace of 25 kilometers per day um of course it sounds easy when the current is ripping like this but there's a lot of things that slow us down but i know we'll be okay um worst comes to worst we call a jet boat to come pick us up at any point <laughs> don't get any ideas <laughs> i've got his number on speed dial Yeah, I want to get Wesley's medicine in him, so okay, can you just fill this with water? Mm. Sometimes with the nice weather comes uh, bugs. So I'm going to put on a little uh, muscal here. We have 25% uh, DEET and, uh, and uh, family and kids muscal, which is 10%. So you sometimes use a bit of both. I was not expecting there to be bugs out here though, eh? Every day we uh, stand up with Wesley a bit or let him sit up on his own, let him practice walking a little bit. And this is a wetsuit that we're putting on Wes. This will keep him uh, warm as well. We just got a treat, a little burn he got uh, on our camp, on the uh, overlanding adventure um, because uh, he was sitting too close to the fire and a spark landed on him. So we're making sure we treat that properly. Yay! Jim is his dad, Tori is his mama, and Huddy is his little brother. 
They love each other. Yeah. Yeah. How's he doing? Maybe if we just like stay completely hard right there. It's just kind of sketchy, like there's so many currents, you know? But maybe we can just merge with the current and then get hard left. It's probably the best thing to do. You know? So like instead of tur turning yeah, in, we're going to point the bow down river. river. Exactly. Oh, okay. I like that idea better. Yeah, yeah I like that idea better. Uh, drag the canoe up there. Spin it bow. Put, put the bow down river. pointing down river and then paddle hard and then merge with the current and then get hard left. You know? And are we back, kind of back ferrying left or just, no, just paddling just left? Just paddling left, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. We can do it. Okay, honey. With your little... What are those feet, man? Are they made out of like... Juniper bushes. Steel? And sunshine. We pulled up to the creek. And we're going to try to merge with this main current here. And avoid the whirlpools. It's hard to see from here, but there's major whirlpools right in here. It's going to want to try to flip us up river. Okay. Okay, so draw. Okay, back paddle. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, forward, forward hard. Hard, hard, hard! Draw, draw! Okay, forward, hard, forward, hard! Hard, hard! Nice, we missed it. Good job. When you're yelling like that, yeah. it really makes me try really hard. You know? Because I'm like panicking. We're gonna jump! That's why he's yelling like that, you know? Right. So that's why I'm like, do what he says and do it as best as you can. Yeah, well you you always do though. That was kind of perfect. We just didn't do it like calm with smiles on our faces, you know? <laughs> I think I was probably coming from a glacier, right? Yeah, probably. Look, look how many waterfalls there. are on it. You know? <laughs> a little pit stop for lunch. We brought a bunch of rocks into the canoe so Huddy can throw them out of the boat as we paddle and he seems to be really happy about that. We're passing that waterfall that's just coming from hundreds and hundreds of feet up in the mountains crashing down. I can actually hear it. It's really cool so yeah really awesome spot to stop for lunch.
<laughs> nice uh -huh. jump. You little trickster. Over here, no, over here, over here, over here. Again. I love you forever. I love you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be your brother's playing with you, Wes. Hopefully, it's be nice. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Buddy, where are you running off to, bud? Shoulders. Shoulders? Okay, shoulders. <laughs> Look, look, Mako. See the Mako? What did you find, Huddy? What kind of skull is that? Hey, what kind of skull is that, Huddy? Uh, Huddy found this uh, beaver skull on our walk this morning. But uh, yeah, wolves got it. And there was a bunch of wolf scat with uh, chunks of bone in it. And Huddy wanted to come back and show his mama which he did very proudly, it's cute. Well, here is a new fishing rod I've made for Huddy. We're on to number three. The first one was lost in the windstorm. Then he whipped the next one in. So this will, you know, a couple hours of entertainment from the front of the boat. Yay, I got one! You got one! Yay! Are you gonna eat it or are you gonna throw it back? Mmm, yummy fish! Thank you, Huddy. I got it! You got it! <laughs> We just passed the uh, Scud River. The rain is really coming down here. Not uh, ideal. Move up. Can you please sit down? Yeah, you need to sit down. No, you can't sit on my lap. No, 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 no. Yeah. So we're just gonna kind of inch up to it. I think. No, 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 no,
Like, I'm sorry, I'm really struggling to hear you. Believe it or not. Does he want us to leave? Yeah, but he wants to sleep on my lap. Aww. All right, lots of sweepers around here for sure. We're just picking our way through a bunch of uh, snags and sweepers and stuff, but plenty of room to navigate if we can manage the varying currents. All right, paddle hard. See that green? Yeah. Thing there? Get to the right of that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you gotta keep that sweep going and keep keep us on this angle right here. River notes that we've had are probably 30 years old, so who knows what's there if it's still standing. Uh, but we're definitely going to check it out, and we paddled on a little further because we thought it might be a good place to uh, dry out some clothes potentially. Because uh, we're starting to get a lot of wet stuff building up, if you can imagine. The cabin could be there. The cabin could be out right through here. I don't know how much more of this I can emotionally handle. Do you see anything? Well, we pulled over to make camp because we had given up on finding the cabin. And as this is a path. <laughs> wow. Well, there's the cabin. Not easy to find. It's not uh, exactly the Taj Mahal, but it is a cabin. And a wood stove. Oh, Ooh, a big old wood stove. Cool. Roof doesn't leak much. It's good. It's really good. You can get nice and warm. Watch out for the stool, right? It's gonna be so nice to have dry things. Don't have to wear it if you're not, if you're okay. Here. Eat, eat, No, you have to, mama's gonna help you because it's hot. You ready? 
I have a feeling you're going to spill this everywhere. Uh -huh. You're going to try to eat it with a spoon. It's not really going to work very well. Hudson is having hot chocolate for the first time. He insists on eating it from a spoon. So we're gonna do some pitas. You've been asking for pizza. Pitas. So this is the next best thing. Amazing. Ah. Wesley, we're so proud of you. You're such a hard worker, Wesley. He really is. You're such a hard worker. Are you still eating the cheese? I do think so. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Look at the up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Yeah, high five. Mmm. Mm. Can I have this one? Go for it. I'll make another one. Mmm. Uh oh, oh, mama. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna make more. Don't worry. What are we making for breakfast here, huh? Uh, corned beef hash. Mmm, delicious. It has been raining for about 30, over 30 hours straight now. A, a good, solid, steady rain, which is just crazy. We're heading to Great Glacier today, so we're just packing up um, in the dryness and warmth of the cabin. Uh, still, we got a motor because we're a little behind schedule. Feels good to be on the water even though it's still dumping rain.
clouds are lifting a bit in some places, so I'm really starting to get a, a look at just all the glaciers, just snow-capped, glaciated mountains everywhere. Amazing. It's just like everywhere you look, there's a beautiful waterfall pouring off of a mountaintop. We just pulled over here on a sandbar to let Huddy run around because he's going bonkers and uh, gave Wes his lunch. Now we're pushing on. Should be a great glacier in another 15 clicks. Fingers crossed the weather keeps getting better. So we see another canoe here, the first people we've really seen since we saw that motorboat. Paddle straight, paddle forward. So what we're gonna, we're gonna, we might have to front ferry a bit or something. I just don't like that, it looks too swirly. Okay, forward card, forward card. Lie down. Lie down, boy. Oh, I made it. Nice job, huh? Hey, bud. Look. Look at the rainbow. Thank you, boy. Today we're having pancakes for breakfast. Yeah. Good. Wesley, do you like the view? Are you enjoying the view? Why don't we sit Hudson down with 
Pancakes. Hey, what do you say we get off the table? Hey? Hot. What? Wesley, do you want some more pancakes? Mm. You want it yourself? Okay. If your tootsies are cold. You want that? That. Mm. Okay. Hold on. Come on, Here, shake. Shake. No, <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. You ready? Uh, oh, oh. Eat one. Do a Jim Baird flip. Oh, Jim Baird flip. Wait. That ain't that easy. Bam! Oh my god, with grace and style. Ready to go? Ready to go on a hike? Yeah. Ready, Wes? He's asleep already. Someone's tired. You tired? Good job, bud. Hi, buddy. Come on. Come on, honey. I can go. Uh, come on. Yeah, okay, okay keep going. Go. Wow, that's cool. Good. 